Javaturnio, Javaturnio Reviews, and Just Try Media, and I am back! We're doing a whole new series of reviews, and I am very excited about it. So I have a new format, we'll see how you like it. But today, we are featuring Headmasters, Highbrow, and his sidekick, Zort, or his Headmaster. Right there, this little tiny guy. He doubles as his head. And then when he is in alt mode, he can ride in the cockpit of his alt mode, which is a futuristic twin prop helicopter. Yeah, so let's get started. All right, so here is his bot mode. Pretty sweet, pretty nice design. Headmaster here, pretty poseable. Uh, the only thing is sometimes these rotors get in the way a little bit. I like the overall design. The only thing that I could say could improve is maybe a little bit more paint on the arm wing area. So you have tons of color down the middle, but then we're kind of bland here on the side. So you see it a little bit more clearly when he's in alt mode, but a little more color could be nice. Backpack, a little chunky and heavy, but you know, when he's sitting on the shelf, no big deal. Good detail, lots of molded detail, that's for sure. Not too many paint apps, pretty much all in the plastic, which makes it nice because with kids or collectors, you can transform it and you're not really going to be scraping any paint. It comes with two weapons, blasters. They can combine to form one large weapon. Let's see, I figured this out all on my own yesterday. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. And I'll show you up close, but there's two like long plastic pieces there and they slide in this way. And that's also where your little headmaster can sit. So I'll show you that pops right off. Super easy to transform. I'm actually really impressed with these little headmasters. Other than leg, there's actually a lot of articulation for such a little guy in the arms. Very impressed, so. See, he sits in there. He has two little poles and two pegs down in here, and then he has a nice little seat. Boom, he can be in there. All right, so let's go ahead and get an up-close look for articulation, and I'll get little Headmaster Zort back into the head so you can see some of the concerns. Boom, there we go. All right, let's get an up-close. So articulation, head, because he pops right in, to the top, he does have 360 degrees rotation. He tilts back and forth, side to side. There's a little wiggle room there. I'm thinking it's a little loose just because he does pop in and out of there. Uh, that's the only thing that could be difficult is he doesn't, he can't really hold any particular angle super well without it being a little jiggly, especially forward. There's just a lot of movement there. In the shoulders, we can go up and down with a lot of range. It is on a ball joint in there as well, so on top of the shoulder joint, you also have like the rotator cuff, basically. And it's on a ball joint, so you do get forward back on the arm, out and in, and then elbow, there is a swivel and a bend, and wrist, you just get bending in and out. There is no other rotation or movement there. Waist, no swivel to it, but we do have hips, Nice motion there. There's a swivel at the top of the thigh. The knee bends, no swivel at the knee, and there is no foot articulation. At least the toe, there is a little heel because in transformation. So you can get some more sturdy poses using the toe because you can also use the heel as a stabilizer. So not too bad. There will be some complications in posability just because of the rotors here getting into the way and then just being kind of one of those almost jet-like builds, you do run into some restrictions on posability, but overall he is pretty darn good. And then I'll show you the articulation for the little headmaster resort. So here, his little head is so cute. It does rotate its little ball joint in there, so you do get some articulation bend and all that. In the arms, they come out, but there's also a little articulation back and forth there, so that's kind of cool. And then legs and hips, it's just the forward movement to be able to sit, and that is all that you have there. So for such a little guy, it's actually pretty sweet. I like it. And there's his head a little closer. Very minor detail, not too much going on there. There's no light piping, so there's just a painted mask for the eyes visor. All right, let's check out alt mode. All right, guys, so here we are in the twin prop heli mode helicopter. Looks pretty nice. A little skinny, maybe, but you know, there's not a lot of kibble. It's not too bulky. It works. 
So here you can see I have the two blasters plugged into one of the areas on the bottom that you can. It's kind of cool because I just discovered this. So there's one of the landing gears and then I was like, okay, so where are the other ones? And in trying to figure this out on my own and not relying on the instructions or the manual or anything like that, I was looking at the blasters and they have landing gears on the bottoms as well. So you would just peg them in. There's this little a rectangle piece here pegs into this hexagon shape on the inside, but you could also use the handle of the blaster to put in there or on the outside. So in flight mode, he could have his blasters like that, or he can be on there. So it's kind of cool. There are a few places to go as on in the front of the helicopter, so he can dual wield right up front as well. Right there, and with the handle. So there, excuse me. Hola. Ooh, look at you, you've got your fruit. So. Alright, so I pretty much think this is awesome. The only complication, again, is just these rotors. If they're actually usable, they can run into each other. This one isn't as loose as this one, but when we've had them rotating, they kind of collide, but no big deal. Pretty simple design. Pretty much has the same outlining as the jets. Same style here. We have the cockpit, it opens, and this is where Zort, or headmaster, will can reside. Kind of lays back in there. It's pretty simple to get him in chillin' mode. And then uh, for this alt mode, we have our Autobot symbol there. And yeah, pretty streamlined. I love it. Awesome. So for a quick size comparison, here we have our Generations class, and then we have Roadbuster, our Voyager class, and we have Wheelie, who is of Legends class. Stand up. So, you know, I think he's pretty good height. He's probably, you know, he's not super tall, but he's not on the shorter end either. He's kind of like that mid-class of deluxe. Sometimes they can be a little bit taller or a little bit shorter, but it's all pretty standard for deluxe. So here he is. Thank you for joining me in my first review back on the scene. Don't forget, enjoy your toys because you never know when they can be taken away. Javatronia signing out. He's been moved around a little bit. There we go. Alright, let's get him up. Alma's trying to do this. You have to be quiet. Yeah, okay. I think that's it. <laughs> and...